Jared Poland, Fronos Photo com and today I'm in the park with Adam Lerner you can check out his YouTube channel uh, Adam Lerner photo or you can just watch his videos on fronosphoto.com so we're just gonna sit here and shoot the crap because yep. I don't curse anymore in the no. videos we're just gonna talk about uh, I don't know it's a beautiful day out here in New York City in Madison Square Park how you doing I'm doing well and you I'm good so you know, I'm up here just on some business, and you're up here because you live here. Yep, and you've become my business. That's that's true. Yep. Uh, in a uh, business sense of the word. Yeah, strictly business. So, what you brought? You brought your uh, street photography bag. You said with me. What kind of bag is it? And what do you have in it? Well, what I've got here is a donkey bag, which is a. Uh, here, pull, pull it up over here because I'm not is, sure if it's in that is, frame. This is a canvas um, photo bag, and I guess this is kind of like the photojournalist bag. Right. Um, I often use this if I'm like shooting Fashion Week. But, um, you know, just to grab a few cameras and uh, maybe some fixed lenses or whatever, it's a real good bag to carry. Um, I've got an ice <laughs> raw hat here just in case uh, the sun comes out yeah. and it starts to rain. Well, if it, hey, if it starts raining, rain. guess what I have? Oh, you've got your shower cap. I've got my shower cap just in case I get so stuck in the you're rain, man. You're far more prepared. <laughs> you, um, don't want, you don't want crusty the crown, crusty the clown hair <laughs> happening when it starts raining. Nope. Um, I've got the, uh, the Russian Zenit um, 12XP which is a flea market find. Nice. Uh, 58 millimeter F2. And I put some 125 uh, black and white Ilford in here. So for daylight, it should be a lot of fun. Oh, that should be good. And uh, yeah, it's, it's actually, you know, give it a feel. I mean, it's Oops, pretty sorry. substantial. It actually does have a feel. It's, it's not even, and it's not the lens. It's more of the body. No, nah, and the shutter, the shutter on that thing, when it clicks, it's like, it's Where pretty, is the shutter? Oh, it's all the way up yeah. here. Wow, manually focusing with blurry eyes. Do I hold this halfway down to get the meter? Yeah, halfway down, and you'll see there's two dots. Top dot overexposed. Does it have to go on? Is there an on button? Nope. And uh, if, if it kind of bounces between the two, then you're, you know, kind of in the zone. I don't see the light. Let me see. I don't see the light. Do you need to cock the shutter or something? Oh, yeah, you got to push it down more. Oh, all right. I just didn't want to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. It's waste a, waste your film. Waste this frame, you know. I won't hold it against you. Ah, it's pretty cool feeling. Yeah. And what's the uh, what's the uh, two It actually quarter? also has a, uh, a shoe to fire flashes and so it's just like a dumb shoe. Well, it actually I mean it would trigger the flash. It does if you put it to 30x here. Anyway, enough said. Um, speaking of substantial cameras, we've got the uh, the Rolleiflex. Uh, with oh, and you don't have a uh, waist level finder I on here. I do have a waist level finder, but, but I, I have trouble with it. Like yeah. for those of you who don't know what a waist level finder is, you literally waist level find it. So you hold it down here, you look through the waist, and it's all backwards too, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's in reverse. Um, the other thing about the, the waist level finder is that on a really sunny day when you've got light coming in, it's really hard to look through the finder and compete with that. So uh, yeah, this is kind of a nice thing and. One thing I was talking about in the video... I think that guy just lost his phone. Oh, damn. Yeah, I don't know. One thing I talked about in the video is that when you water ice, when you go up to somebody with a camera like this to take their, their shot, and it's a candid, it kind of breaks the ice with them a little bit because... Because they want to know what it is. Yeah, and they think, oh, you know, it's a cool old camera. It, I don't know, it just... It... What's interesting, not to interrupt no, you, please. but to interrupt you, so the two lenses, one is for the viewfinder, right? And the other, which is I'm assuming down here, yep. which is shining in my eye right now, yep. is for the uh, to expose actually expose the film. That's correct. So what is this? Two and a quarter? This is um, uh, I guess medium format two and a quarter. Yeah, two and a quarter. One sixty millimeter. It's got a leaf shutter, so um, you know when you push the shutter, it's like very quiet. Well, let me explain what the leaf shutter means. Is that the um, the shutter is built into the lens so that you can actually sync your flash at any speed. So where most cameras are limited to 2 50th of a second, when you're using a leaf shutter, which is literally in the lens, that's what they put in the, the large format cameras, like 4x5s and 8x10s right. and all of those is because you can, it just it's just built in. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of the uh, range finders have leaf shutters. Um, anyway, so that's that. And then, just to kind of round it off. I just love when people just like stand and park themselves right in front of the camera. I mean, we are in New York City, so. Well, you know, the thing about it is that in New York, you can kind of do anything and nobody really cares. Yeah, because you just blend right in. Exactly. I mean, we can I mean, wear sort of. suits and nobody would care. We would just be sweating more. And what's, what's this little uh, toy? This is kind of like what I use for doing digital stuff on the street. It's just a D700 with a 35 F2. 
Um, and it's just kind of compact and light enough so that it's easy to carry and it's not as imposing. Compact is a relative term to people that are using, say, a D3100 <laughs> or, or a, D90. a D90. I mean, we put that thing next to the D7000, which is recording this right but now. Put it next to the D3S. Let's just do that really quick here. Um, you know, because it doesn't have the, uh, you know, the, you know, the, uh, the other grip, it is quite a bit smaller. I mean, if you look at them together, this is so least, much bigger from the back here. I mean, I love the D3S. I, I love wouldn't, it. I wouldn't shoot with anything else at this point. There's nothing that feels quite as good as shooting with a Nike no. Pro body. But hey, you know what? We didn't talk about my bag. Let's get into your bag. Well, I still want to get back into the other stuff, but I've got my, uh, let me just put this away real quick. Yeah, I'm just going to, there we go. Yeah. So. I traveled up with my air, what is it, Think Tank, um, Urban Disguise 35 version two. Okay. And so I carried that as a backpack with the backpack straps. Right. And I've got the Hebrew Trinity in there. So I've got the 14 to 24, 24 to 70, 70 to 200 on the D3S. There's a, my, I got my MacBook Pro in there and I have my- uh, So you've basically got a uh, portable photo studio. Well, yeah, well, but I have the laptop, I have the iPad. And I had to carry the second bag, which is an Urban Disguise 60 version two, because it has all of my audio gear in it. And you know, I could have gotten away with one bag, but I knew we were gonna sit down and I figured we both need mics. So I have to bring up my whole audio bag, which I've got the, uh, well, I forget what they call that thing up in there. That won't be a good spot, but that's a better spot. <laughs> and then, <laughs> um, yeah, I got lost on that one. <laughs> I forget what I was, what was I saying? You're talking about oh the the audio gear the yeah audio gear. so you need the audio gear in order to do good video so I mean that's that's half the battle these days is uh, we couldn't sit here which is about twenty feet away no from the we'd camera. have to have a you know a boom mic a boom mic with a grip and the guy so and that's the whole why thing. that's why I can't even travel light anymore no but, but let's just go back to one quick thing here you said that you had the fourteen to twenty four f two eight yeah twenty four to seventy f two eight seventy two hundred f two eight why not just travel with the twenty four to one twenty uh, F4? F4 or something like that and just have the range covered and have a lightweight bag. Yeah, because I, I just, I'm not confident in the F4 lens in this situation, okay. in everyday shooting. Now, in say, I talked to some wedding photographers about this, using that lens for a wedding party right. that you're using a flash on is perfect because it's a 24 to 120 on your full frame. You're getting a lot better range than just using the 24 to 70 and right. being done with that. Um, I, I just I just feel that the clarity and color and the tones and everything that comes out of the pro lenses, even though they say the 24 to uh, 120 could be a pro lens. Yep. That is a beautiful dress. It's New York, man. Summertime. That's purple and pink. Yeah. I love that dress. That was a beautiful nice dress. Too. That was a that was a beautiful dress. <laughs> you, you did notice the dog. I, well, it was a nice dog. <laughs> I saw it when I walked by, but it was a beautiful dress. So anyway, yeah, I just. I could go. I could go with twenty four one four eighty five one four. Well, you're telling me that you've got you've got a laptop, you've got an i an iPad, you've got microphone gear, you've got three pieces of pro glass, two sure. camera bodies. I mean, that's a lot to be you know carrying around in your bag. It is a lot to be carrying around, but when I do the stuff, I want to do it right. Right. Um, I want to have the right tools for when I'm shooting. Sure. Could I get away with a twenty four to one twenty if I needed to? Sure. Absolutely. Right. Why not travel with the one lens? But I also I actually didn't tell you I've got a. 16 fisheye in the bag as well. Well, so I forgot to tell you that the 16 fisheye is for when we do those random street portraits or the five minute portraits. I put that on the D7000 so it can give me a nice wide uh, 20 millimeter equivalent. Sure. I think it's a 20 millimeter, 21 millimeter equivalent, okay. I think. And um, I did and also forget to mention I had the 514 in there in case we were going to do some portraits. Right. For the D7000. And you have a 35 F2. Correct. Now, would you give up the 35 F2 for a 3514? In a heartbeat. <laughs> But well, it's, hey, it's your lucky day because let's make it. Let's make a deal. <laughs> we interrupt this broadcast for. Um, so, I like I like the city. I like it. Um, I like this park. There's a lot to see. See here. people walk around. Yep. In nice dresses. Absolutely. That, I, that, that dress wasn't as nice as the uh, the purple pink dress, and the other girl had a dog. Well. Wasn't too bad. No. So, so I think that what we're getting at is that, I mean, if I were to go on a shoot, like tomorrow I'm going on a shoot. I'm not getting at anything. I'm just talking. Well, if I was going to go to a shoot, I would want to have, like a professional shoot, I would want to have the full complement of lenses, of, of flashes, 
all that kind of stuff. So then right. I had the entire, I had all of my arsenal ready for me when I was, you know, so that I'm prepared. Yeah. Whereas, whereas, like for something like this, for my street bag, this is just really for grabbing candids and street shots and yeah, and that's, sponta that's the, spontaneous stuff. And that's the thing, you know, when I when I go to make a decision on what I'm taking uh, away with me when I go to travel, it's like I know I have to be in the train, so I want to have a backpack. I had sure. to walk 15 blocks or so to where I needed to go today, so and it is 93 degrees. It is very hot out, <laughs> and I'm carrying a tripod. Right. Um, so it's just a matter of finding what bag works. I mean, I almost brought the roll bag. Yeah, the roll bag wouldn't have been such a bad no, thing. No, the roll bag wouldn't have, well, no, it would have been difficult to travel with, and then you can't shoot out of it. Now, the backpack is okay to shoot, it, well, it's, it's a little harder to shoot out of. Okay. That's why I use my um, Retro 30. Yeah. But, I don't know, so, so in the city, running around, you, you like using the, fi you like the fixed focal length lenses better, right? Yeah, I mean, look, if I was going, again, if I was going to a photo gig, I would either have my, my Think Tank uh, Streetwalker hard drive, uh -huh. which is one of my That's favorite. a backpack. It's a backpack, and it's got a slot in the back for putting in a laptop. And during Fashion Week, instead of putting a laptop in there, I actually put a little collapsible stool. Yeah. Because, you know, portability, particularly when you're getting in and out of subways and doing a lot of stuff on your feet, you want shoulder straps, and you want a bag that you can quickly work out of and carry all your gear. But then, like you, if I was doing, you know, a more elaborate shoot, I would have something like an airport security or something with wheels. Well, that, that's the thing. Like, if you're going to a studio and you know you're not traveling anywhere other than the studio, you can work out of the bag. Absolutely. You open it up, you flip it over in the corner, you've got your lenses ready to go. But when you've got to travel places, that's yeah. why there's no one bag to rule them all. There never no. will be. And you can never say never. There most likely never will be. Yeah. Um, one bag. I mean, I can tell you that th this bag is just big enough, but it's a little bit small, and a well, retro thirty would be far more ideal. Whoa! I almost got birded. <laughs> you know, those donkey bags. What? The guy start that in his garage one year? I think something like that. And he's local. He's local in uh, PA. It was like the ubiquitous. Um, well, it's a canvas uh, bag. bag. It doesn't do very much, and I mean, I don't know. But you can throw it through the washing machine. You it's could. Very resilient, and it doesn't scream photo bag. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm still, and you know how they push some of the products as, you don't even know that they're camera bags until I take out a D3S and 70 to 200. Sure. And then you know it's a camera bag. Absolutely. I mean, that's not a big uber duber deal. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Ed. So if you're traveling with uh, flashes, do you have stands with you? I do. I have a separate bag with stands and tripod and lighting tools like umbrellas and reflectors and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, there's all, oftentimes you make do with, with what you have. I mean, there's some shoots that I know that I'm going to be in a small space. So I'll bring maybe one stand and I'm going to assume that I'm going to be bouncing off of something in the room. Yeah. So, you know, you just, you, I think what it really means is that you just have to be prepared to be flexible, either by bringing a full complement of gear or being able to be aware of what you're going to be working with or what you have to work with in your environment. Switch mic sides. Because if you're looking towards me, maybe it's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that way better because then you're looking at me. Just All don't right. get any of that chest hair on it. Oh yeah, it's uh, sexy. Jewish chest hair. That's Very why you sexy. wear V-necks, isn't it? <laughs> you wear the V-necks to show off the shirt. Hey, I got some V-necks coming. Excellent. Uh, you, yeah, I shoot raw V-necks in black, I think. Very good, sign me up. Yeah, I know you like V-necks. Was there something I wanted to talk about today that I can't remember? There was there was uh, a whole lot of stuff, but I think the heat and the sights have definitely uh, gotten What was it? Us. What did we want to talk about? Um, there was something we wanted to hit. It wasn't traveling. It no. wasn't. I don't even. I don't even remember. Ed. Did we want to talk about um, shooting portraits outside? Well, Did no. Did we want to talk about? I uh, just want to talk about photography. Yeah. Do you want to load that camera? Do you have film to load into that? Which into the the Rolleiflex? Yeah, I do. Why don't we just throw some film right, into the Rolleiflex? I mean, you were planning on doing that anytime soon. Yeah. Why not? And then you can just take some pictures of me on the bench. Sure. What's the millimeter equivalent of that lens? This is a um, this is a, an 80 millimeter, um, actually 75 millimeters. So Ooh. what would that be? A 37 and a half. See, I can never figure it figure it out backwards. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it's a 37 and a half millimeter equivalent. So I've got some Ilford HP plus 400. Um, so and I don't know how much time we have left because my clock wasn't counting the right way. Uh, I'm gonna go take a quick look while you sit here and talk. All right. All right, all right, so what do we got here? You're loading... Um, loading the Rolly Flex. Well, it's 120 film. Right. 160 speed. Yep. Right? Black and white? This is actually 400 speed, black and white, Ilford. Okay. Um, I did just do some 125 over the weekend, 
Um, but this is just kind of what I well, had. Let me ask you, what, what are you primarily going to shoot with this camera? Candids or street portraits or what? I think I'm going to probably end up doing portraits, but because it's a new camera for me, this was um, kind of given to me on permanent loan from my wife's uncle, who's a, a photographer, and he actually shoots medium format 6x9 with Mamiya. Mm. Um, I'm just really kind of learning the camera and learning what it's capable of. Um, you know, that, let me ask, how do you meter? There is no meter in that, is there? No. So I'm either... Wait, can I, can I see something? Sure. Just don't unroll this because this is uh, light sensitive. It's film. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not digital memory. How's it smell? It smells unexposed right now. Okay. It actually... Oh, there it is. I'm just, I'm, I'm just having a hankering for that you old... You off on that? No, I'm having a hankering for that old um, darkroom smell. Nice. I miss the darkroom smell. Yes. The chemicals, so good. So loading this, Yeah, easy. so basically you just take the tab and you pull it up over and you stick it in. How the, many shots you get on this? This is 12. So, so that that's means, why it's the 120. Right. And, and 220 is uh, 20, 24. Correct. So it's and twice this, as much. this camera does not have the um, capacity to go 220. Ah, so it only will take. Only will take 12, 12 there, shots. There are plenty of rollies out there um, that do so, and you just kind of crank it up until it stops, and it basically says one, so it's on one. Right. Do you have to uh, bring the handle burn, back? You don't have to burn any film, like no. it didn't expose the first nope, one nope, by accident. Don't. I set the ASA over here to 400. ASA, <laughs> American Standardization Association. Right. There was ASA and ISO, and being that the Americans are always looking to standardize things under their own terms, right. they tried to get ASA to work, which I, I'm sure it did for, what, 10, 15 years? They did both, yep. ASA, but it's the same thing. Yeah. It was the same speed. It was the same numbers. Yeah, I mean, there are there are variances. I mean, there is 125, 160, 100. There's a lot of different kind of sure. nuances within well, and, the and range. The thing with film, I mean, I'll just go out and say it, because I mean, you can't just change the ISO after a shot. Right. You're stuck with the ISO of that, of that uh, film that you loaded. Absolutely. Now, we could just guesstimate the uh, exposure here. Let's do it. Um, Let's do it. Well, we could, and then we could... Yeah, but then we're just burning through film. No, but we're going to use your digital. Oh, of course. Okay, and good. We're gonna say, so I'm going to say, it's, well, we have 400 speed film. Which, you know, again, for daytime, I would tend to prefer to want to shoot, you know, 125 speed film. <laughs> uh, just seeing how far we'll back up before we... Uh... Okay, so we have one 400 speed film. We're in a, uh, you know, we've got uh, diffused light. Direct shade. Direct shade. But we are in the middle of the day. It's about 1.15, exactly. 1.20. I'm, so, I'm gonna, what aperture does this thing go to? Uh, the smallest aperture is 3.5. Where are you gonna shoot it at, four? What's that? Are you gonna shoot it at about four? Uh, well, I don't, no, I wouldn't. You're gonna shoot at 3.5? I don't you're think shoot I, at eight. I see, the thing is that you, when you change the um, aperture, it changes the shutter speed. Automatically? Automatically. Weird. Yeah. So um, I'm going to say eight hundredth of a second. No, I mean I'm, I'm going to say a thousandth of a second. It won't go to a thousandth of a second. Squirrel. <laughs> it won't go to a, a, a thousandth of a second. To the left. Good looking girl. Yeah, very nice. It's kind of like a squirrel, but it's a girl. Five hundredth of a second is the fastest it goes to a three five. Oh, yeah. it's going to be overexposed. It, absolutely. I think it's going to be well overexposed. So we're going to be probably looking at like f eight. Let's do it. Or. I mean, F F6 is a minimum, but F8 is probably where we're going to have to be at and this, properly exposed. And this here. is the whole thing about going back to the whole film day, is that you had to. Uh... All right, so. So going back to the old film day. Here's yeah. what we'll do. Wait, well, well hang on. We'll, we'll take the. the, the... Well, wait, I'm, I'm not distracted anymore. So back to the old film day, you you literally couldn't take a picture and look at it. You didn't have a histogram there if that's no what chimping. you look at. Or you couldn't chimp. I, I remember sitting there back in, in junior high school going, how amazing would it be if you take a picture and then it's right there on the back of your screen? <laughs> you were just such a pioneer with your thinking. You should have invented that. Well, then I was like, what about when I'm in typing class on the DOS computer, the 286 uh, computers? So you, you basically are saying you're a visionary. Well, yeah, I said, why can't I just take this document and feed it into the computer and it scans the text right in for me? Oh. Let's get back to the, uh, the picture-taking right, right, right here. Right, right. Um, 
All right, so we're going to set the ISO on here to 400. 400. And we're going to set um, the uh, shutter speed to, well, let's see. 500 at F8? Let's go to aperture priority mode. So at F2, it wants to go 32 hundredth of a second. Okay. Well, let's, let's just go over here. All right, so at F2, it wants to 2,000th of a second. Okay. So at 3.5, it's saying a thousandth of a second, which is which your guess. Yeah. So, let's so my see. guess was right. At five six, it's one three twentieth of a second. Okay. Well, let's shoot it. Can you shoot this one? At, uh, can you shoot this rolly at that? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Five six at three twenty. Let's just see f eight at one at two hundred. I don't actually know because it also modifies the shutter speed. With it, it reduces the speed of the shutter um, when you uh, increase the aperture. Oh. Well, let's move on then. <laughs> right. Let's just figure it out. All right. Well, so you loaded it, you get 12 shots. See, that's a whole nother ball game. How many right. of you guys sit there and just shoot a million shots with ever, without ever thinking? I mean, you get people saying, I don't want to shoot raw because it's too hard to edit all those pictures. Well, well, back in the day, you had 12 shots, you had 24 shots, you had 36 shots to get it right. Yeah. You didn't blow through, like a wedding. I was thinking the other day. Well, timing is everything. Anticipation instead of motor drive. That's why uh, the recommendation is still turn off you, so you can do five or six frames a second. So what? And if you're at a wedding and you've got 36 <laughs> frames in yeah. your camera, and it, you're, you know, something important is about to happen, you do not want to motor drive. You don't want to motor drive because what if the bride's coming down the aisle? Right. You have to decide, do you have a, like, you used to get to 30 frames and know that you had six or seven depending on how your camera loads the film. Exactly. And then you had to decide, should we switch film? Should we, should we burn the last six frames? Right. And risk putting in a whole nother roll that we only may get six more pictures on and then you're burning a whole extra frame. Right. So, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, right there. Excuse me. It's always funny when someone trips. Yeah, I guess so. But um, yeah. So back in the day, shooting weddings, three hundred and six. I would shoot maybe ten rolls, seven, eight, nine rolls a wedding, and then come back with three hundred and sixty pictures. But that was about it. Right. And no, you wouldn't even come up with three hundred sixty keepers. You would deliver a hundred pictures, and that was it. And nowadays, people are delivering two thousand, which is way too many. So you see what it does here? No, I can't see that far. I'm yeah. blind. So we're gonna wrap it up, Ad. You want to wrap it up? Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. Anything else you want to say from New York? No, just. Uh, Is it Saturday night? No. <laughs> <laughs> funny guy, right? Yeah, very funny guy. Funny looking. Well, looks aren't everything. Um, it's everything. <laughs> I don't know. I just I thought it was pretty cool to sit in the park and just shoot the breeze. Yeah. We'll see what you guys think about it. Who knows? We this is what we do. We just talk photography. Just yep. talk gear. I mean, it's a, it's the coolest thing. It's not the coolest thing to do. It's just one of those things we do, nonstop photography, talk, photography, talk, and uh, that's all I got. All right, that's about it for me. Jared Pullen. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Good to see you, man. <laughs> Good to see you. I'll see you the next time. Jared Pullen, Froknowsphoto.com. See ya.